today with all of you proud and strong women. So please give yourselves a big round of applause. So I've worked for Volvo Cars for more than 10 years. I've, I've worked in our headquarters in Sweden. I've worked in Japan. I've worked in China. And now I'm very happy to be leading the organization here in India. And I have to tell you, I'm extremely proud of working for this company. And a lot of that pride comes from the vision that I'm showing you today, the mission that we have. So our mission is to be the world's most progressive and desired premium car company and make people's lives less complicated. Now, what I'd like to point your attention to, especially today, is progressive. So what does it mean to be progressive? It means for us to lead. It means for us to push society about things we truly care about as a company. And for these, for these most important areas, we as a company have set out visions. Our first vision, we set out more than 10 years ago. We called it our 2020 vision around naturally around safety. Being a company that leads in safety has always led and will always lead. Safety was our nat naturally our first vision. And the vision is that no one would be killed or seriously injured in a new Volvo by 2020. Now 2020 is coming very quickly. And we've seen that we've made tremendous progress as a result of this driving vision. And we are getting very close to achieving it, which is fantastic. But we have some gaps, and we're gonna address some of those gaps today. Another vision we have is around electrification. Now, I live in Delhi, so certainly around Diwali time, I can really understand the importance of the environment. And especially within India, I think this is a very relevant vision for us. So by 2025, we will have 50% of our cars on the road being electric, and of course that will follow here in India. We look to have over a million electrified cars on the road by 2025. So we have a very clear vision and path for the environment. But what we're here to talk about today is our third vision, which is around gender equality. And Volvo, being a Swedish company, has always been very focused on gender equality. And this is something, even in Sweden, of course, there's still gaps, but many, many uh, great steps and progress has been made. And as a company, we have stated that we are going to have, 20, by 2025, a third of our leaders in the company will be women. Thank you. It is a bold vision, and it's something that we will make happen. So how are we doing? Right now, already in Volvo, 24% of all, all of our employees are women. And if you think this is a, a very factory-driven company, still 24% are women. We're not there yet, but we will get there. Again, we have the vision by 2025, have a, a full third of our leaders be women. But I think it's also important to think about how are we going to walk the walk, walk the talk here in India. So in India also, we are making great progress. In the past year and a half, in the organization I work with, we've gone from 3% women to 22% women. And I'd like to ask a representative to stand up and wave. Thank you very much for coming. Very, very good. And also, along with our global leadership goals, we will have local leadership goals where one third of our leadership will also be women. So this is something that is very close to our hearts and we are taking very concrete actions to make it happen. But as you know, Volvo is, is not a standalone organization. We also have a vast number uh, of dealers and our dealer partners are also committed. And what I'd like to do is ask Ajay from KIFS to come up and talk a little bit about what the dealer organization is, is doing as well. Please, Ajay. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate it. Uh, firstly, uh, 
it's very nice to be here among this lovely audience. And uh, I would like to thank you for doing this mega event of in Mumbai. And uh, on behalf of all the dealers across India, the movement to have more women in our dealership has started. I'll give an example of uh, our dealership in Mumbai itself. Basically, the head of finance and accounting is a woman. The head of customer relationship management is a woman. And the highest sales performer for last year is a woman too. <laughs> Similarly, across other dealerships, we are all working towards having at least women as part of all our sales staff or other functions. And uh, last but not the least, I must uh, tell you all that we've just opened a new showroom in February at uh, Prabha Devi and it's going to be one of the pit stops for all of you. So all the best for the rally. And on all behalf of all leaders, I sign off here. Thank you, Charles. Thanks, Ajay. So it, it, it's really gratifying when, when we work with all of our partners. This was, th when we talked about making, you know, some, some communication about things we care about, Ajay and the dealer organization, they really embrace this. this. This is really close to their heart as well and, and fantastic to see. So that gives you a little bit of background about why we're talking today. But let me, let me uh, step back a little bit and, and talk about, you know, the urgency of what we're doing, and especially when it relates to safety, and particularly women's safety. Here's a shocking statistic. 410 people die every day due to road accidents in India. Just in India. Every single day. This is a shocking statistic. And this is something that really emphasizes the importance of the mission that we are on. As I said, Volvo has always been a leader in safety. And let me, let me tell you a little story about the three-point safety belt. So everyone in all of their cars that they rode over here had a three-point safety belt, correct? So did you know that Volvo invented the three-point safety belt? So this is... This is, this is something, an, in, an invention that has saved millions of lives since 1959 when it was introduced. Virtually every single car has it now. And it's because Volvo, rather than protecting the patent, gave this patent out to the automotive world so that everyone could use it. And this is something I think that, that we have, we've, we've always been very proud of and wanted to do something very similar again. So what we're announcing today is the modern equivalent of giving away the seatbelt. We call it the EVA initiative. And it's the result of more than 40 years of research. So you'll see, you've all seen these, these videos of, of crash test dummies. You know, you see in crashes, there's, there's these dummies and they're, they're, they're rocked within accidents and within cars. You'll notice all of them are about the same size. Because crash test dummies, for all the tests that are done, are based on the average American male size. And Volvo, through 40 years of research, through 40 years of going through Every year we go to a thousand road accidents a year. So we've been to over 40,000 actual road accidents gathering data, gathering lots of data on what actually happens in a crash, not just what happens with a crash test dummy. And what we found, quite honestly, is quite shocking. That there's, as a result of using male dummies, there's a gap between the safety for men and the safety for women. And let me show you a little film that demonstrates that. <laughs> 